I clearly remember every minute of this day, and it's a day America will not forget, September 11th, 2001. There was an East Tennessee native who was one of six first responders sent from Tennessee to assist at Ground Zero. He will soon be in Pigeon Forge sharing his story, but Ellie Bird got to talk to him today. Unbelievable, unbelievable. The, the smells, the heat, the odors, the sensations, the horror of it all, and I got sick and had to come back, and when, when I went back, the medical center asked me to come and start taking DNA samples from remains, so I spent six weeks taking DNA samples from human remains, everything you cannot imagine. Arthur Bohannon is a Sevier County native. He served in the military, FBI, and the Knoxville Police Department. His passion is forensic science. He's had two major discoveries in the forensic field and being one of only a few experts in fingerprint analysis. That's what I wanted to do. I was so fascinated with fingerprinting and, and at that time, that's basically all it was in the forensic field. And of course it's spread out so much since that time, but I was so fascinated with what you could do with just a little fingertip to identify somebody with and I followed my dream. This led him to join the response disaster team at the request of the federal government. Because of this and his skills in forensic science, Bohannon was called to assist on one of the worst days in American history. We were activated by the president on September 12th. Six of us from Tennessee met in Knoxville at Burry Funeral Home, and we started driving north. And they told us, drive north, we'll tell you where to go as you're coming up here. So sometime in the afternoon, they told us to go to Stewart Air Force Base, which was a staging area. From there we went on into D.C. and started work. Yeah. It, it was weird, and they told me to go to a point I'd see a temporary mortar on the left. As I walked up there, I could hear a generator, and the plate glass was knocked out of one of the four storefronts, and it had morgue on it. He says it was pitch black, and the first thing he saw when he got to Ground Zero was firemen searching for victims. He says he and the other first responders are still dealing with the effects of the hazardous conditions. Lung function is low. I have burst esophagus. I have reverse of COPD. I can inhale, but I can't exhale. Bohannon doesn't know how many people he was able to identify to notify families, but he would do it again today if he could. So me and my brothers and sisters died in blue. 73 or police officers, over 300 firefighters. They died, heroes trying to save somebody else. It was an honor to be there. He says he wants younger generations to be thankful for the country they live in and the people who died protecting them. In Sevier County, I'm Ellie Bird, WVLT News. All the video you saw in that story, the pictures, most of the items in the museum are Bohannon's. He brought them back from ground zero. You can hear Arthur Bohannon share his story. He'll be speaking at that Alcatraz East, the museum in Pigeon Forge, September 10th. And all of September, KPD will wear 9-11 badges to pay tribute. Here is what they look like. Almost 3,000 people died that day in 2001. Mm -hmm. The minute someone goes missing, a search begins. But here in Tennessee, there are special teams.